Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, this is really exciting. And we are just kind of on the other side of where you guys are, just right outside of State Farm Stadium. We're on the Glendale Media Center deck. So we sort of have this bird's eye view of the stages being set up, all of the security in place. And this is just an incredibly incredibly exciting time here in the city of Glendale. So we have the mayor with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. So you were here in 2015. Uh, what does it feel like to be here a few days before the Super Bowl in the national spotlight? Well, the, you know, the biggest difference between 2015 and now is this time I get to enjoy it. First time I got to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we've just had an incredible opportunity with, with all of our partners from all across the state. Uh, everyone everyone is involved in this everybody understands the importance of putting on a, a great face a good show and uh, and making sure visitors when they come here they have the greatest time in the world and that they want to come back and everybody understands it everybody gets it and uh, and we're ready to go we're excited <laughs> you grew up in the valley again you were here you were the mayor in 2015 at the last Super Bowl how have you watched the valley and this particular area change over the years uh, well a lot uh, I, I, I grew up literally about five miles from here, and that was at the end of the city. And, uh, and today the city continues on uh, for miles going out west and north and south. And, 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 and really uh, it's developed so big that most people don't know what city they're in any longer because <laughs> those fields that separate everything are gone. But the growth, the phenomenal growth that we've had since the last Super Bowl, uh, I think is attributed uh, not all to the Super Bowl, but I think a lot of it because people got a chance to see the valley. They got a chance to see Glendale, Arizona, and go, wow, what a great place. They're, they're sitting back east, and they're thinking about, well, do I finish watching the game or do I go out and start <laughs> shoveling snow? And they're watching us down here mow grass. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the sort of long-lasting impact of a mega event like the Super Bowl. In 2015, there were 125,000 visitors. That includes media and also fans. For the folks that maybe don't pay close attention to football, how does this impact really everyone in this city? Well, <clears throat> your question's great, but it's not just everyone in the city. It's everyone in the state of Arizona. Uh, the state of Arizona has state-shared revenues, so monies that, that come into Glendale, to Scottsdale, to Tempe, because of the Super Bowl uh, that the state collects will then be shared with the re most remote, smallest towns and villages in Arizona. Uh, the, the, right on the border of Mexico and Arizona, the, the small town Arizona, they're going to get some state shared revenues because of it. So it affects everybody in the positive. Uh, it also uh, it also brings a lot of people here, a lot of tourists, and a lot of people get down here and go, you know what, we want to stay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to leave either. There's a reason why we all live here. <laughs> we do have to talk a little bit about the weather because the <laughs> weather supposedly will be better from the year that it was very foggy. Uh, what, what are your memories from that foggy Super Bowl Sunday? Well, well, okay, so so here's the here's the deal. I didn't know it when I got elected, but I'm allowed six good days of weather. <laughs> Eight years ago, I didn't know that I could order good weather. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I ordered good weather for Sunday. Okay. I'm okay. telling you right now, it's going to be 75 okay. degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me, 75 degrees for a high. It's okay. going to be Perfect, perfect, perfect weather. And you and you made that weather happen. We'll be able to see the stadium because I understand a couple years ago you couldn't you couldn't see anything. Eight from years here. ago, standing right here on this podium at the same time of day, morning <laughs> of the Super Bowl, you could not see the street wow. 30 feet away. Okay, it, the right. fog was so thick, uh, and we just told uh, the the folks from uh, from uh, uh, back east. We did that weather for them. Yeah. <laughs> and this weather. Make, uh, make them feel at home. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, Mayor, Mayor Wires. We really appreciate you taking the time with us. Uh, Scott and Olivia, I, I wasn't here for that for that foggy Super Bowl. Maybe you guys have memories of that. I will say uh, the weather is looking mighty beautiful this weekend. We might have some new neighbors here in the Valley.